Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and conceptual problem from differentiability of functions, right? And in this lecture uh, we'll discuss the differentiability of this function f of x uh, which is defined as x times tan inverse of 1 over x for x not equal to 0, right? And f of x is equal to 0 for x is equal to 0, right? So we have to uh, discuss the differentiability of this function at x is equal to 0, right? And we'll see uh, whether this function has a derivative at x is equal to 0 or not, right? So let us start. Uh, see, uh, we know that a function say y is equal to f of x is uh, differentiable at some point x is equal to a if the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative are equal to each other, right? So right hand derivative exists and it is finite. Similarly, the left hand derivative exists and it is finite and both the derivatives are equal at x is equal to a, then we can uh, claim that the derivative of this function, that is f prime of x, it exists at x is equal to a, right? So let us uh, first find the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative. Now the right hand derivative is defined by this limit, that is the limit uh, h tends to 0, here we have f of a plus h and here we have f of a and it is divided by h, right, where a is this point and here a is uh, given as 0, right, and h is a positive quantity, right, so this is the uh, definition of right hand derivative and the left hand derivative is defined by this limit that is limit h tends to 0 we have f of a minus h minus f of a divided by minus h right so we'll calculate uh, these two uh, limits so here uh, we'll take a is equal to 0 so we have limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 divided by h, right? So this is limit h tends to 0. We have f of h minus 0 because f of x is 0 for x is equal to 0. So we are given that f of 0 is equal to 0, right? And here we have h. So we can now write limit h tends to 0 and we have f of h over h, right? Now, let us substitute the value of uh, f of h, right? So f of h can be obtained by replacing x by h. So we have h, because here we have h, then we have tan inverse uh, 1 over h, and uh, this is uh, uh, divided by h. Right now, this h and this h get cancelled, so we are left with the limit h tends to 0 tan inverse of 1 over h. Right, so now uh, let us find out the value of this limit. Right now, see h is uh, tending towards 0, so we know that uh, if h tends to 0, then obviously 1 over h tends to. Uh, infinity right so 1 upon h tends to a large number so this limit is equal to tan inverse infinity right and we know that uh, tan uh, pi by 2 is equal to not defined that is infinity so we can write pi by 2 is equal to tan inverse of infinity so this value is equal to pi by 2 2 right so the value of the uh, right hand derivative is uh, equal to uh, pi over uh, 2 right 
Now let us find out the value of left hand derivative. So now we have the left hand derivative as the limit h tends to 0. We have f of a minus h. So we have 0 minus h and this is f of 0 because a is 0 and here we have minus h. So this is limit h tends to 0 f of minus h minus 0 divided by minus h. So f of 0 is 0, right? So this is the limit h tends to 0 f of minus h divided by minus h, right? So now uh, we can write this limit as minus limit h tends to 0 f of minus h divided by simply h right so now let us find out the value of f of minus h by taking x is equal to minus h in this expression so we have a minus limit h tends to 0 we have a minus h tan inverse of minus 1 over h right because here also we have x is equal to minus h divided by h, right? So now uh, this is a minus limit h tends to 0. This h and this h get cancelled and we are left with this negative sign and tan inverse of minus 1 upon h can be written as the negative of tan inverse of 1 over h, right? Because from inverse trigonometric functions, we know that tan inverse of minus theta is equal to negative of tan inverse of theta, right? So this negative and this negative when multiplied together, uh, it becomes positive. So now we have negative limit h tends to 0 and uh, this is tan inverse 1 over h, right? So now this limit is equal to uh, pi by 2, right? So we have just seen that uh, in while calculating this right hand derivative that 1 over uh, when h tends to 0, 1 over h tends to infinity. So uh, tan inverse uh, infinity is equal to pi by 2, right? So this limit is pi by 2. So we have minus pi by 2 right due to this negative sign so the left hand derivative is equal to negative of pi by 2 right so viewers uh, here we have seen that uh, although the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative they exist and they are finite at x is equal to 0 but they are not equal to each other right so right hand derivative is not equal to left hand derivative at x is equal to uh, 0. So we can claim that uh, this function is not differentiable at x is equal to 0.